Hey everyone, it's Oliver Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at building multiple legends for a single measure in Tableau. You might have run into a situation like this where we've got a crosstab looking at our sales across various years for each category and subcategory. And currently, because our sum of sales pill is on the marks card, we have uh, here on the colors tab on our marks card, we have a color legend. What might be helpful though, is to create a different legend for each year, if what we wanted to see was how much our sales di differed from the average, or uh, what were the biggest and smallest values in one year, you know, we could start asking some questions like that. But in order to do that, we'll need to work around some of the limitations that Tableau has at the moment. Um, you know, kind of the way that it creates legends out of a measure. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to open up this second uh, cross tab. So it's kind of like the one that we had before, but it's very bare bones, no year, no sales. And we're going to start by creating a separate field for each year of sales that we want to see in this instance. So I'm going to create, our, I think our first year is 2019. So I'm going to create a field for sales 2019. And I'm going to say, if the year of our order date is equal to 2019, then sales end. So what Tableau is going to do is it's going to search through all our sales values and it's going to double check if the year of that sales value is 2019. And if it is, it'll return the sales value. And if it's not, it won't. So that's sorted. And I'm just going to duplicate this for every year that we want. So let's duplicate and edit. And I'll, I'll change this year to 2020, change the year in the calculation. And it's exactly the same. And for the sake of time, I've already done the last two years just to keep it easy. Okay, so because we've set up our cross tab, what we got to do now is start putting these sales values in. So I'm just going to double click on each of our values one by one. And you can see that Tableau auto populates measure values and measure names all over our worksheet. If you want to learn a little bit more about measure names and measure values, check out this video uh, that we'll put in the description. So I'm just going to keep adding in and that's fine. So now we've got a separate column. It pretty much looks exactly the same as this one, 2019 to 2022, but technically each of these columns is its own measure. So now here's the trick. We're going to add measure values onto color. We're going to change our mark type to square so that Tableau knows we're building a highlight table. And now this table is actually exactly the same as our first cross tab. So what we've got to do here is right click on measure values and say, use separate legends. And what that does is it now creates this, uh, you know, a, an individual color legend for each column. At this point, we can just format things. So what I might do is go through here and for the sake of clarity, uh, perhaps maybe we could change the color, but you know, you don't need to, that would probably defeat the purpose of, <laughs> of doing this. But just so that we can really see the control that we have as we go through, we can set these legends individually for each year, which is awesome. And of course, our example is using years and sales, but you could use exactly the same logic and apply it to your particular instance um, and you'd get the same result. Something that might be helpful too in your formatting is uh, perhaps you might, well, you might notice that each of these names represents the name of the calculated field that we've put in. You might not want it to be exactly the same. So we could edit any of these legends, for instance, with an alias or a title. So I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to say edit title. And instead of sum of sales 2019, I'm just going to say uh, 2019 and have it like that. So I think that that probably brings a little bit more of that um, organic feeling to our view, less like we've really manipulated what Tableau is doing. And I can do the same at with my column headings. So I can right click at the top of my column, edit my alias, and we can just call this 2019, uh, for instance. So I hope that that's helpful. There are lots of different use cases for something like this. Uh, and if you want to learn more about Tableau, 
uh, be sure to follow our channel and check out the videos that we're going to be dropping in the next few weeks. Awesome.